Pac-12 title game from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. My hotel room when I was there for Formula One stared yep. at that. I didn't get to see these guys, though. They're not surprised to see each other again. I had a good feeling I was going to see you again. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. When we played, that's the best team we've seen all year, man. Plus two Heisman hopefuls and Bo Nix and Michael Penix Jr. We start with Washington already up 3-0. Dylan Johnson takes that in for a touchdown. And Oregon is down double digits. It's 10-0. Washington with the lead. They've only trailed 10-0 or at least double digits twice this season. Both to Washington. We go to the second quarter. It's 10-3. Huskies on the move. Penix all the time in the world. Jalen McMillan has all the space. And that is a gain of 45. Next play, Jeremy Bernard, end zone. That makes it 17-3. Now, in the Pac-12 championship game history, there's only been one comeback or 14 or more points, and that was Utah last season. Oregon, what can you do? Down 20-3 with 15 seconds to play in the half. Knicks going to find Terrence Ferguson, and that is one hell of a catch. Two feet in, only needed one, got two. It makes it 2010 at the break. Let's go to the third. Oregon, 0 and 3 on fourth down in their first meeting with Washington. What's going to happen here? Fourth and goal from the two. We wouldn't have given you the stat if they were going to miss it. Spoiler alert, Ferguson. He did it again. Touchdown. That makes it 2017. Yep, I want to know what that halftime speech was about. Later in the third, still 20 to 17. Washington going for it on fourth and two. This time, doesn't go Penix's way. Tried to escape, but sacked by Nico Reed. It leads to this. Second and three from the Ducks 45. Knicks. Under pressure. Goes to his left. Has about 44 yards of space. Gain of 44. Lanning's fired up now. A few plays later, first and five from the six. Jordan James. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And guess what? Oregon with the lead. It's 24 20. Washington with a chance to respond, and they did. Third and goal from the one. Johnson gets the handoff, takes it in for the touchdown. Washington back out front, 27 24. And this is the beginning of a pretty solid back and forth. After a stop from the Huskies, they got the ball back. First and 10 on their own 18. Penix airs that one out for Jalen Polk. One-handed catch is tremendous. That may actually be better than the Ferguson touchdown catch. A few plays later, if it works with Polk, go to him again. Penix this time for a gain of 19. Huskies on the move. Third and goal from the two. Penix going to find Quinton Moore. That is a score. And now a 10-point lead for the Huskies. It's 34-24. But the next Oregon drive, this happens. Knicks. Treshawn Holden. Watch these moves. Holden's got a couple of them. And that takes him all the way to the end zone. Holden stays inbounds, gets the score. Knicks is fired up because it is 34-24. 31. Who would have thought that in the first half? Tale of two halves. Just over two minutes to go. Huskies facing a now huge third down. It's third and four. Penix Jr. Jalen McMillan. He needed four, got six. Bo Nix sat like that for the next, what, two and a half minutes? A little bit later in the drive. Another third down for Washington if they get it. Basically iced it. Well, they got it. Penix to Dylan Johnson. Huge hole. Upfield, big first down. That secures it for the Huskies. They are your Pac-12 champions, 34-31.